Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid-month November 2024 reading. Um, with all readings, if you come across this video um, and it's not November, uh, maybe there's something here that resonates with you, like all readings are, are kind of timeless in many ways. Um, so with that being said, let's start your reading. Let's see what Spirit has to say. Oh my gosh, look at that. Do you see that? That's one card. Another one. And another one. Let's start with these three. So, your first card is focus, focus, focus. So, it's like maybe there's some plans that you have that you haven't really embarked on just yet. The second card is Divine Guidance. Um, it says, pay close attention to any possible messages or signs that spirit at this, from Spirit at this time. A guardian angel is watching over you. Advice from someone wise. This is my Angelic Guidance card. So sometimes I feel like, you know, when I look at this, I feel like there's like a new project coming on or like there's something where Spirit is trying to make it so like you're stepping away from distractions and distractions can come in in so many different ways like let's say you're on the phone you're scrolling social media a little bit too much or maybe you're too focused on other people's needs maybe they constantly rely on you and you just you haven't really taken the time for yourself for your own health for your own ah for your own um well-being and I feel like that can kind of impact just your focus in maybe embarking on plans or projects or side hustles or things that really spark your joy and I feel like spirit is really needing you to kind of almost ground yourself so I don't know if you need to go and do more meditations maybe you need more grounding crystals like I know like for instance this is, I think, Silver Obsidian, which is a very grounding crystal. Um, it's interesting I grabbed this crystal because, I don't know, I was drawn to it. I have a pile of crystals with me on the side. Um, Silver Obsidian is very interesting. Not only is it very protective, but there's something about this crystal where it almost reflects kind of like I wouldn't say negative, like if somebody's sending negativity to you, it transmutes it right away, but it almost kind of reflects it back towards them. Um, this is also a crystal where there's a lot of shadow work. So it's almost like there's a lot of deep healing integration work, a lot of things that can be transmuted and healed um, in order for you to kind of maybe move towards a life that is maybe more fulfilling, maybe it, it brings you more peace, maybe there's some sort of like um, unhealed trauma that needs to be, I wouldn't say addressed, but maybe it's preventing you from living your life the way that you want to live it, or maybe it's a fear, like for instance, maybe you always wanted to start a business, but maybe some sort of deep down fear you have is like a fear of success. Or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or like maybe, you know, you want to kind of share your gifts to the world, but maybe you have a, a, a deep trauma wound of being afraid to be yourself, being afraid to be judged, being afraid to express your truth. There's some sort of shadow work, I feel, um, that spirit wants you to kind of, kind of look at maybe. Um, that's kind of something that I'm picking up on. The third card here, oh, look at that. <laughs> recognition, public recognition and successful achievements and fame, being well known for something, a talented individual. Like, what was I just talking about? Is there like a fear of perception here? A fear of like, you know, success? Because I feel like this is something that is almost like meant for you. And, and the only thing that's kind of preventing you from achieving this is really putting yourself out there and stepping out into the unknown and, and like being okay with being vulnerable, expressing your heart. 
um, because I feel like you have a lot of gifts and a lot of skills and a lot of talents. There's something within you that is unique to you that only you can express it the way that you do. Um, and I feel like I feel like there's some fears here <laughs> in terms of of getting yourself onto this platform or this new adventure or this new project. But as I'm looking more into this cards, these cards as well, it could also be, again, no more procrastination, but it could also be okay with asking for signs. Being like, okay, angels of love and light, can you please assist me in... in in what I should be doing next. Can you please show me how I can heal this? Maybe they can lead you to certain healing modalities, crystal healing, you know, Reiki, light language, Akashic record healings. Um, maybe they can kind of guide you to the right practitioner or the right healer to assist you in releasing um, maybe certain things that no longer resonate with you or no longer serve you and it's in your energy field. And sometimes I call this like the dross energy too. Like maybe you're done a lesson. Maybe you're complete in, in learning certain things. However, that energy might just still be kind of in your energy field. And you just need that extra help from someone who can just kind of clear that out for you. And then that kind of makes space for the new things that are meant to come into your life. Um, <clears throat> so that being said, is there any more questions? You would, I mean, <laughs> questions. Do you have more cards, spirit, that you want me to share with Aquarius here? Oh. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Opportunity. This is like a job job opportunity, promotion, travel, travel for a new opportunity, um, a change in career, relocation to a new home, international connections. Yeah, there's something, um, I feel like as you kind of step into this or work on your project or work on like really stepping into getting your, putting yourself out there, I feel like there's going to be opportunities being presented to you. Um, network connections, um, people who notice you for your gifts and talents and maybe want to offer you something. There's something going on here in terms of like you stepping up to what it is that you're meant to be doing and then seeing for yourself these more opportunities that keep flooding into your life because you are essentially doing what it is that you signed up to do this lifetime. Okay, passion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is like staying motivated and passionate about your dreams and goals, spreading love and light, keep up the good work and do not give up. So really, this is about focusing on what sparks your joy, what brings you happiness, what makes you exhilarated about life right now. And like trusting that path, even though it can be scary, even though it can may, may feel illogical or you don't know how or you don't know all the details, this is where spirit is here to assist you um, if you just kind of ask for help because you have to ask for help before they can assist you um, on this journey or with anything, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, it's almost like I do feel like it's about making your lists, making um, a, like a calendar of what it is that you want to achieve, goals, practice um, practice carving time out of your day to, to do what it is that you want to do. Oh my gosh, let your inner light shine. These are amazing cards. It really is about stepping into the wholeness of who you are. And it's not just like, doing that privately in your own home of, you know, being so relaxed in, in terms of just being fully yourself. It's really about being out there and trusting that you will meet the right community and the right people who are meant to be in your life or who really appreciate the gifts that you bring. You know, sometimes I find, you know, if we're in environments where we tend to have to mask or we have to shield ourselves in in many ways because we don't trust people or we feel like they're not fully safe or maybe you know that they're judgmental and you can't fully relax, 
it, it's almost like spirit is going to assist you too in terms of like moving you maybe to a different place, different location where you can relax to be yourself. You know, it's not as if like your external factors really determine who you are. It's like you're still the same person. However, you're you let's say you have pattern recognition and you know that these people you can't trust them. It's not like you don't want to be fully yourself. It's like you're smart enough not to not to put yourself in a like a situation where you know that this person is not a safe person to be around to speak your truth and to express the fullness of who you are. So spirit wants you to express the fullness of who you are. So because these people are not safe people, because these people are going to maybe make it difficult for you if you are to express your truth they're going to move you into another space where the when you express your truth the people the right people will truly and deeply appreciate everything that you have to offer um i do feel like yeah there's something about removing yourself from an environment that may not be of your highest and best interest um as you're embarking on this journey so any closing? Cool. Take this one. And then one more from here. Any other messages you would like? Let me share. Ooh, here we go. Let's see. Oh, wow. Messenger. This is also, yeah. Spirit is really wanting to communicate with you. Your guides are really wanting to to hit home with a message here. It says, Hawk, messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. <laughs> it's funny. I've had this deck for so long, and I have never seen this card before. <laughs> Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. Oh, my God. This is like what we were just talking about, yo. It says focus on, um, wait, you have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Wow. So, yeah, like we were just talking about new opportunities, um, letting go of distractions and like paying attention to the signs from your spirit team. Um, it's it. I think you've outgrown something. I feel like you've outgrown the space that you're at, maybe the people or the environment that you're at. And you're now taking that chance for on yourself to kind of move into this new direction. And it's really about trusting yourself and to know that the passions that you have is really what's guiding you. Um, and you're really gifted. Like this recognition, it's like there are people that really are seeking the unique, unique gifts that you have. Um, but they don't see you because you're not putting yourself out there. Like... <laughs> They, in order for them to see you, you have to be courageous enough to heal these fears that's kind of preventing you or like um, from stepping into that space. Okay. Goddess Gaia, Ocean Jasper, and Goodwill. I love this card. It just looks like Mother Earth here. So again, that kind of reiterates being grounded, um, trusting the flow of your life. Trusting the flow in terms of surrendering and also letting go of the old um, is what I'm feeling here. Uh, goodwill. Goodwill. When I read this card, I, I think about when you're moving through life with integrity and you're moving with purpose. Let's say you do the, the inner work. You do the the deep healing in terms of this like I want you to know that all your hard work doing that internal work doesn't go unnoticed I think spirit really wants you to know that this is about understanding that you know sometimes when we're on the spiritual journey and we're kind of like in our own little worlds and we're kind of by ourselves because it can be kind of isolating when that happens right I want you to know that spirit sees the work that you're doing and it is work energetically it is work so that has to lead to something it's not just something that disappears it cultivates 
you know, your character, but it also brings in more abundance and more blessings in your life. You begin to open your heart more in terms of feeling more grateful for the things that you do have. Um, so it almost makes this journey towards moving towards your passion more fulfilling, more, um, more deeply felt, more, you know, appreciative. And because of that vibration of appreciating more, of, of being more um, grateful for the things that you do have, I feel like your blessings will be more amplified because of that. Um, because you are actually living purposefully and it's not fake. The peace that you have is really genuine. The, the gratitude you have is genuine because of what you've gone through behind closed doors. Um, but know that spirit sees you and knows that, you know, if you have a pure heart, spirit's going to bless you and they're going to protect you. They're going to shield you as you're moving towards this, um, new adventure that you have. So continue to shine your light, continue to express your gifts and talents, continue to uh, focus on your goals and pay attention to signs. Like November seems to be a great time for you to get those wheels turning, get those projects moving. Um, so that's really exciting. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, if this video resonates with you, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Um, leave a comment. I absolutely love reading comments on my channel. Um, and again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye!